Hey everyone, this is Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today I'm going to be installing a Feister Ladera widespread faucet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect my tap adapters to my water supply lines. One thing to note is that the tap adapter does come with the faucet, but the water supply lines do not. So you will need to go to your local hardware store and pick up a couple supply lines. The faucet supply line that I'm specifically using is a 12 inch stainless steel line with a 5 8 inch FIP end and a 3 8 inch compression end. Next, we're going to take our hot and cold valves and insert them into the outer holes on the countertop. The other thing to note is that on the bottom of each valve is an arrow, and that arrow needs to point towards the front edge of the counter. The cold, of course, is going to go on the right, and the hot is going to go on the left. Now, the way to tell the two valves apart is down at the bottom, there's going to be a red indicator for hot and a blue indicator for cold. So it is important to note that I am standing on the back side of the sink so the valve placement is reversed. Next I'm going to take my square washer and I'm just going to slide it up onto the valve. Then I'm going to take my mounting ring and I'm going to screw it up onto the back side of the valve. Now it is important to note that the mounting ring does have a specific way it needs to go on. Um, so make sure you look at your instructions. It's really going to be dependent on the thickness of your countertop. Next, we're going to take our washers and we're going to put them on the bottom of the handles and then slide them over the top of the valve. Now, if you want, you could put them directly over, over the valve first. It doesn't really matter. Next, I'm going to tighten the handle down with the Allen wrench that's included with the faucet. Then repeat the process for the other handle. Next, we're going to slide our putty ring over the inlet valves on the faucet spout. If you found this video helpful so far, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you get alerted as soon as the newest videos come out. Next, we're going to take our horseshoe bracket and slide it onto the stud post on the underside of the faucet spout. Then we're going to take our long mounting nut and screw it onto the stud post. Next, we're going to connect the water lines coming from each valve to the spout connector. The spout connector is pushed to click, so all you need to do is push the corresponding colored water line into the spout connector and it will click into place. Once that is complete, we're going to take each of our water supply lines that already have our tap adapters installed and we're just going to connect them to each of the valves. It's important to note that the cap on the valve water supply line only needs to be hand tight when connecting it to the tap adapter, so a wrench is not necessary. Next, I'm going to connect my water supply lines to my angle stops or whatever you're using as your, for your primary water line. Next, we're going to install our drain. First, we're going to remove all the pieces from the drain assembly except for the thin black washer at the top. That washer will sit between the bottom of the sink bowl and the drain assembly.
Once the drain assembly is in place, we're going to go back under the sink, tighten it down, and connect it with the P-trap. As you see, I already have the P-trap installed. At the end, there will be a link to my video on how to install a P-trap, or you can check the description below. And that should be it. So once you verify everything is tight, you should be able to turn your water back on and make sure you have no leaks. For more videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you get alerted as soon as the newest videos come out.